Hello from Alaska. Alaska. If you guys have been following us for a while, you know that our last big adventure was Turks and Caicos, and we're going from tropical heat to absolutely freezing cold. Our eyes are already watering while we're out here, but we could not be more excited to be here. We've been trying to get to Alaska for a while. Yeah, we almost came last year, but you know, due to certain reasons, we couldn't. So that way we saw it in the future for this season, this winter season, and we decided to come out here for a reason. And that is to see the, the Aurora oh. Borealis. <laughs> <laughs> the Northern Lights Aurora Borealis, whatever you yes. want to call it. They're both the same thing, and they actually Actually are this amazing phenomenon that we have been hoping to see for so long. What's even crazier is that while we were crazy enough to come out here, we convinced Polly's cousin Gabriella and her boyfriend Andreas to come out here with us. And I think we sold them when we said they have a chance to see the Northern Lights. And it took us about 24 hours to get here. So if you couldn't tell, we're a little tired. And if our words don't make sense, yeah. that's why. We flew from JFK to Seattle, Seattle to Anchorage, Anchorage to Fairbanks. So it's been a lot of travel in the last 48 hours or whatever. Yeah, it's been a long time. Before even really being here for a full 24 hours, we had our weird, first weird Experience. So some guy at the Fairbanks airport followed Andreas, Gabriel's boyfriend outside and was chatting with him. And I guess he was saying that, you know, the do's and don'ts of being Alaska. in Alaska, you know, first don't touch a metal pole, don't lick it like in that one movie. Oh, and then he yeah. also said if you get stuck on the side of the road, burn, your, burn car. your car for warmth. If anybody can confirm if this is true or not in the comments, we'd really love to know because no one else has given this advice to yeah. us. So we'll definitely show you everything that we do here and all of our adventures. Yeah. And We just finished the large animal research station. Super cool, they have reindeer, caribou, they have musk ox, and they raise all these animals and they do a bunch of research to protect the animals. Beautiful place, and it is just as cold as you think it is because we're all bundled up. It's very cold. We have ice cold, <laughs> you have ice cold. Honey. My hand is numb, so it's... we're gonna go in the car, warm up, and uh, we'll continue our Alaskan trip. Good morning, guys. The time is currently, I don't know if you can see that, 1.54 in the morning. Our first attempt to go check out the northern lights. Negative 10 degrees. Working up to this Cleary Summit to hopefully get the first chance at looking at the Northern Lights. So let's see how it goes. We're very tired, by the way. Tripling our layers. We better be safe than sorry. Look at what Bree's wearing. Look at the Oompa So we have the start of what is it? Day two, Bree? Day two in Alaska starts off with a nice dusting of snow. Last night was epic. We saw the Northern Lights for the first time in Alaska. It was my first time. My second time, but it was just as amazing as the first time. So we have Brie scraping off the car. So something in Alaska too that every vehicle has is they have, I didn't know this because I've never been in a cold environment like this, but they have plugs on the front of the car so that way it'll warm up the block heater like overnight if you're not driving for a while. When you get in the car in the morning, It'll almost be ready to go. You just have to warm it up for like five, 10 minutes. Plug it in, the extension cord, plug into that, and then you're good to go. So our first stop today is at the infamous and famous Alaska Pipeline. We came to our first spot today called Creamer's Field. It's just a little nature trail, kind of like five minutes from the apartment we're staying in. Very beautiful. We're a little bit jet lagged, so we decided to just take it easy today and not drive because the roads are pretty dangerous. Kind of icy and it was snowing before. This place is beautiful. Highly recommend it. The sunset here would be gorgeous. The northern lights over here would be gorgeous. So we're probably gonna try and come back here tonight. Very, very cold. So today we are doing something super exciting. It's a huge bucket list item for me. We are going to meet the reindeer at Running Reindeer Ranch. We are so excited. It's gonna be amazing. I guess what they do is like, they have like a meet and greet with the reindeer. Yeah, so they have a reindeer walk and a reindeer meet and greet. And we did the meet and greet because we really just wanted to pet them and hang out with them. Sorry, there's a car turning. So that's what this noise is. Yeah, <laughs> but everybody just showed up. So we're gonna get started. The 
<laughs> they don't like you. <laughs> it doesn't like me. <laughs> We're at Olness Pond. Kind of in the middle of nowhere, but it's yeah. a great spot to check out the Northern Lights. We wanted to see it during the day because last night we got here and we were a little creeped out because there were bullet holes on the bathroom, bathroom door. We wanted to see it during the day because we're going to try and come here at night, but this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. And it's also, the sun is setting and it's like two o'clock. So this is our car that we got from Turo. It's our first time renting with them and honestly it was a really good experience except for when we picked up the car in the middle of the night, we set off the car alarm. Definitely need the four wheel drive. As you can see, we were driving on snow. Awesome experience with Turo. So we just got to Pioneer Park. It's pretty much a little mock village that they created to show like what Alaska was like. So it's pretty cool. There's a bunch of like little houses, boats, and we'll give you a quick tour and show what it's about. So to start the, what is it, fourth day now? Fourth day in Alaska. We're going to Jason's Donuts for breakfast this morning. And then we're going to head to Denali National Park. A big day of driving and adventuring, so. It's as big as my desk. <laughs> so good. <laughs> So we're on the way to Denali National Park and at one of the Palaw, look at this. So we just got back in the car. We are freezing. We just did, I think it's the Silver Lakes Trail here at Denali National Park. And it was awesome. It was beautiful. It was just really cold. Negative eight degrees and yeah. the GoPro died. Yeah, so that's so why we, we have couldn't... nothing from there. Just to show how cold it is. He's frozen. Best way to save money while you're traveling. Pack your lunch. Little fun fact. And this is the most, the northernmost peanut butter and jelly sandwich we've ever eaten. And if you know us, you know every trip that we go on, we always have our PBJs. Peanut butter and jelly with a view. So we just finished lunch. And we're so excited because we're going to go pet sled dogs in the middle of the Arctic tundra. We have Brie petting clothes. They're so cute. She loves to be. Look, oh. we both have blue eyes. All the little kennels. So we just had a blast. We had so much fun with the pups. It was so much fun. I love dogs. So now we're at Riley's Creek. Gonna you know, check it out. So currently, what is it? Negative 11 degrees out. Yep. So we're all bundled oh, wow, up. Look, it looks so pretty. So it is currently day five, day six, Bree. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to some ice caves. So it's about two and a half hour drive south, and it's kind of sick. So we'll see how that goes. And I found your I found your cord on the ground. Oh, my phone charger. So we just got to the hike trailhead for the Kastner Ice Caves and it is cold. Yeah. But the view is insane. There's a rainbow. Right there. You can hear the water running in the ice. So we made it and this thing is insane. Yes! <laughs> Breeze all the way down there. That's what I'm doing. She knew what I was doing. So ready? Glacier's right there. Yeah, this happened by accident before, but ready? Oh! <laughs> That's cold. So we just got to the chain of hot, uh, chain of hot springs. It's cold. We're shivering. You can't even talk. <laughs> so this is gonna be a quick little intro because we're going in the hot springs. It's super cold. All right, let's go.
100,000% worth of here. My hair is frozen, solid. What are we doing today? Dog mushing. We get to go pet more dogs. Should be an interesting experience. We today don't know if we're going to be on the back of the sled, like mushing, or we're going to be in it. So this is going to be an experience for us all. So that was a wrap on the dog sledding. It was so much fun. Yeah, we went about five miles in about half an hour. So we were going at a steady speed. Next is Santa Claus Town. We're North here. North Pole, Alaska. I don't know if you really can see us, but Santa's house. Yeah, Santa's house sucks. Yeah, go there. it was just a, a shop. Literally no elves. I mean, if you want to go shopping, it's a good place. They have some chocolate. That we got. Yeah, I'm eating it, but. Tourist trap, absolute tourist trap. And really overpriced. You've been to a lot of places where you can buy kind of similar things and not spend $30 on a dish towel, but I spent $30 on a dish towel because I thought it was cool. So, but, but other than that, we're going to go check out another tchotchke shop and then uh, have some dinners. So before we head out, we wanted to show you our Airbnb that we've been staying in all week. So come with me. We wanted to end this video with a breakdown of how we dress for Alaska. With temps dropping as low as negative 18 degrees, we don't want to take any chances. As you can see, we layered up with multiple shirts, pants, sweatshirts, gloves, hats, scarves, and socks. If there's anything we learned from our Alaska adventure, it's to definitely dress warm and to stock up on those hand and foot warmers. As always, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with our adventures. Thank you again for the support and we can't wait to see where the next adventure takes us.